Hello everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. We've got another SG-1000 game for you. It's uh, Hustle Chumi. Choose the sound that in the Japanese language they equate to the sound a rat makes. And um, Chumi's our little rat protagonist in this game. The object of this game is to grab all of the food and get back to Chumi's home. Um, it's a little more difficult than that though, because there's enemies everywhere. And um, the gimmick for this game is that you need to, uh, as you pick up food, you get heavier. So it makes it harder for you to move. Um, can everybody let me know if the game audio is coming through? I'm going to go into a stage. The music is quite um, grating on the ears to say the least. So just let me know if this is loud enough or too loud. And then we'll have a... You can hear it. Thank you very much, bass guy. We got music? Yeah. As long as you can hear. Okay, I'm going to start a run. So there's a few different enemies. Um, mostly there's bats. But um, on each level, there starts a specific enemy. So on the second level, there's a cat. And the cat's pretty feisty. It will jump at you. Um... The level above that, there's a little alligator. He doesn't really do much. He sort of hangs out. He's hanging out, having a rest at the moment. And he comes and chomps on your food sometimes. Um, on the ground level, there's this lizard. It's apparently a robot lizard. Um, and it's invincible. I cannot kill it. Um, you see that Chumi's got a projectile. It's actually cans and empty cans. Um, but yeah, that one can't be killed. And the guy that I just killed there, uh, is it supposed to be an exterminator, but I think he's a ninja. Maybe he's both. Um, and he takes three hits to kill. He's the only multi-hit enemy there is. So once we collect all the food, we've got to get back to the hole. There's a little shoot here that can get you down. I went the top way there because the robot lizard was in the bottom row. And of course the screen wraps, so it makes it a little bit easier because... Um, Sometimes you're blocked off and you can't do anything. So you have to go around the long way. And uh, where are we going? We've got... This is the third level already. Okay, we're going pretty good. So the speed run does a full loop. There's eight different levels. So once we hit level eight, that's actually the end of the speed run. But the game keeps continuing as all arcade games used to back in those days. Um, Precursor to Mappy? Yeah, kind of. I mean, this game came out in 1984. Um, so it is quite an old game. I believe that predates Mappy. Okay, so I can't shoot this guy. I'm going to try and jump. Oh, no, I'm not because everyone's here. You don't have to get all the food and go back home, so I might just, like, bank the stuff I've got. It makes it easier for me to move because now I'm back to my... my summer weight, I just call it. Okay, and now we up to the top. I like level 4. Level 4 has got lots of different ways to go. So yeah, when we go down the chute, you can go up a ladder or you can go the bottom way. Um, when you've got food in you, sometimes it doesn't read certain frames. So if you see me standing still, it's probably because the game isn't letting me jump because I'm too fat. Uh, and then we've got a bit of problem here. I'm going to have to try and jump in. And jump up back. Yeah, okay. We're fine. Oh my god. I am surrounded by enemies. You only have three lives as well, so it's kind of brutal. And the cat almost jumped on me. So yeah, I started running this game about a year ago. Um, it does take quite a lot of attempts to get through the game in a decent amount of time, just because there's one little thing that goes wrong and you're basically run over. Okay, we did okay in this level as well. This is my first run, isn't it? I haven't reset yet. Going pretty good here. You'll notice there's manhole covers as well, so it's most of the time it's better to go the top way and go down the chute. Um, because the manhole covers can be closed for like 10 seconds. Well, I haven't decided whether it's a ninja or, or an... Apparently it's supposed to be an exterminator. Um, he definitely looks like a ninja sprite though. Okay, we've got war. Oh my god, he's coming for me. And the cat's behind me. And the bat's coming. And the cat can be spawned quite quickly, and so can the bat. Oh my god, I'm getting surrounded. 
I do like the speed run because if you are fast, then nothing gets in your way. Um, it is an adaptable speed run though, because when something spawns on the edge of the screen, it'll choose a direction to go, and that's different every time. So now I can see the lizards down the bottom. I'm gonna have to go the top way and go around probably. Yeah. He can turn around and kill me now, so I could be dead. Nope, he went up the ladder. Very nice. <laughs> maybe in your country you can't say ninja? Uh, maybe. Okay, um, this is a deceptively hard level. Oh, I pressed jump instead of shoot. So two bats spawn immediately here, and the cat can kill you. Oh, the bats went right. That's excellent. I mean, they went left. Okay, now moonwalking alligator. So as the levels progress, the enemies start getting faster. And once you do a loop, there's more enemies as well. I actually still have... Oh! Okay, we died. We're on our last life now. I was about to say, and then I cursed myself. Hey, we've actually got an extra life. Okay, don't bonk me. He's moonwalking again. It does have a bit of personality, this game, like... Sometimes it feels like the ninja guy comes straight for you like that. And sometimes the alligator just hangs out and he's chilling. Sometimes the cat will jump across the screen and literally murder you. And there's nothing you can do about it. So there's one more level left before the loop. Hopefully we'll get through the next level. Sometimes you can't jump right next to the hole. The SG-1000 is quite a nice console. Um, it's a shame that people don't give it the attention that it deserves. Oh, we got a problem here. I'm gonna go around, I think. Okay, I'm gonna risk it and go this way before that alligator respawns. This might be a... Yeah, we might do this twice, I think. Let's uh, deposit what we have. So any little problem like that that happens in the speed run, the run is over. Oh, I don't know why I stood sitting in the hole waiting for the next stage for. Okay, we can get up. This cat is going to be a problem, I can feel it. Yep, we turned around. Up. Okay. Okay, barring any barring anything going drastically wrong in the basement, we could get out. Oh. Okay. So this is where the speed one would end, but let's keep going. I actually got an extra life on that stage. So we're back to the first level, but now there's bats and everything moves faster. I'm really surprised I did it all in one one go. One can one, one credit clear. Oop. Considering there's like sprite limitations and color limitations, it's quite a good looking game as well for 1984. Oh, okay. That's it for me. <laughs> they died. Um, let's do another one. Let's see how far I can go going as fast as possible. We got a heap of time before the next run. So yeah, in a speed run, usually you just go for everything. Obviously, I can't jump here. Now I can. It actually helps on that top row to go up the left-hand ladder instead of the right one, even though it's further away. Because when you jump, you and you land on the uh, apple. The jump distance is set, so there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you jump way too far, like that. But most of the time, jumping will get you places faster. Okay, this run's pretty good so far. Level 3, I like to try and jump over the lizard robot. And then shoot this cat before he jumps on you. He almost got me. Okay, let's try and jump over this, and then come back for it. As you can see, sometimes the food is spaced just far enough apart that you will jump over the thing. Okay, this is the level I like, because there's three different ways to go. There's no bats in the first row either. Uh, let's come back. 
See, something like that would end a speedrun, because there's no way I can get to the hamburgers, there's too much stuff in the way. I don't even remember how fast the speed run is. I think it's 4 minutes and 28 seconds. I, and I was just sitting in the hole expecting the next level to come up, because that's what I'm used to. There's still a lot of stuff around here. I'm like, okay, he's turning around. And again, you can climb down the ladders to try and get in it. Um, try to get back to Chumi's hole, but sometimes the manhole cover's closed and then there's nothing you can do but stand around and wait. Okay, this cat. Okay. Uh, oh, he turned around. I can probably jump here? Yeah, okay, we're fine. Sometimes I won't kill an enemy because it'll be spawn and then it'll be in my way a second time. Okay, so the lizard's at the top, uh, in the bottom, so I'll go the top way. And then... Oh, he's coming all the way over. Oh, now the exterminator's coming for me. So this is probably me dead. Okay, we'll keep going until I run out of lives, which won't take long. So I won't kill this back, so I can jump over here, then jump back again. Now the uh, alligator is right in the way. <laughs> okay, I didn't... He wouldn't let me walk down for some reason. And I was reading the chat. I think there's some re replayability to a lot of the SG-1000 games. The next game coming up is a, a game that I like as well. Um, it's Girl's Garden. And it's uh, pretty RNG heavy as well. See, uh, I can't get to this candy. Yeah, this guy's invincible, so you can shoot him to slow him down. And then you only have like a couple of pixels to jump in. Okay, hopefully this m oh, the manhole's cover covered on the left side. Let's go this way. Got down just in time. If the manhole cover is moving, you can't climb down the ladders either. Wait, I missed one? Oh, I didn't even realise that I missed one. I don't know if that's coming through, but I'm getting an ad in my OBS. Oh, I just got a game over anyway. And for some reason, my OBS has got an ad in it. So, that was Hustle Chumi. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was only a short game. But, um, really nice game. Uh, so that's it for me. Let's look forward to more SG-1000 games and 40 games in 40 years. Thank you very much for the GG's and chat.